right, thanks for staying with us now. The 2023 Nigerian gubernatorial election will be held for state uh, governors in 31 out of 36 Nigerian states. All but three elections will be held on um, the 18th of March, concurrent with elections to every state house of assembly. Now, according to a news source, the postponement followed a ruling by the Court of Appeal in Abuja um, sitting as the Presidential Election Petition Tribunal granting the Independent National Electoral Commission the right to reconfigure the bimodal voters accreditation system as the Beavers machine. And the commission statement um, that it will need five working days to reconfigure the Beavers used in the 176,974 polling units where voting will take place for the elections. Now, the development provides perhaps a rare chance and privilege for INEC to execute a credible election that will be acceptable to majority of Nigerians and the international community. This time around, Nigerians expect nothing short of a free and fair election. And uh, we're asking who is your candidate of choice and why do you believe that they can do the job? And as we discuss the gubernatorial race, you know what we're going to do because of our guests, we're going to focus on two states, Lagos and River States, <laughs> <laughs> so that we don't talk too much. Now, please, let's hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation. Send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 81 803 You can also tweet at us at Wish Africa one with the hashtag Wish Show. All right, so uh, who is your guy? <laughs> so I, I think, and I've said this thing several times, right? And I, I like the idea of what is happening in Lagos State. I think for the very first time, I believe that there's truly a race. Mm. There's truly a competition, mm -hmm. right? It's been like in the past, Jimmy Aguadio will just sleep, and then wake up four years months. after. <laughs> <laughs> and then we see him everywhere. <laughs> see him everywhere. <laughs> then he goes back to sleep uh, after four years. <laughs> but for the first time, yeah. you know, given the work that, um, um, what's his name? The governor, oh, no, governor, okay. Mr. Governor, someone who has been going around sending letters and all that. I say, okay, somebody is actually, I yeah, actually I mean, like the excitement pressure. about yeah. what's happening with the yeah. gubernatorial race. Yeah. Again, and this is the coming off of the back of what happened in the presidential race, the where people actually saw yeah. the, the number of young people coming out first time, voters, a lot mm -hmm. of people stayed, you know. There was just so much energy around. Mm you know, the elections, and, you know, it's now, like, you know, uh, what's it called, rubbing off on mm -hmm. the governorship race. Yeah. And that's why you can see, you know, a lot of, <laughs> a lot of, uh, what's it called, work yeah, going, going, you know, visitation, handshake at the church, you know, and all of that. <laughs> but hey, that, that's my thoughts. Let me hear your thoughts, Diola. And, uh, <laughs> well, I mean, like you said, I really like what's going on. I like the, the hard work they have to put in. I like the fact that um, now... It's not business as usual. Now, again, there is the humane side of them that we're seeing, you know, and like, you know, this popular thing all over social media now, the elections make you, hum it makes you humble, yeah. you know. So you actually connect with the people, you know, people who have never seen, you know, ha have there any opportunity to even get involved in politics. Now they're beginning to Absolutely. say that, oh, did you do this? People are raising concerns. Mm -hmm. There are issue based. And you now know, there's I'm a train wreck. <laughs> Everybody's visiting. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know. There's just you a know. lot going. There on. is a lot mm -hmm. going, and that's that's cause for excitement, mm -hmm. really. Actually, how mm -hmm. are you, Chinelo? What, do you what think? more is there to say? <laughs> what more is there to say? I mean, everybody said this thing the very first time. I was like. Um, I love the pressure mm. that everybody's feeling yeah. now, right? Yeah. So it's not, and now, the um, counter, counterfeit of what people are saying that it's just Governor Sonolo and then mm -hmm. Jeremy. Mm -hmm. There's full show to her today. Yeah. Have you read that man's bio data? Mm -hmm. He actually has something to offer. So it's oh, not, the dirty uh, man. So oh. it's not but just. The issue mm. with the other candidates mm. is that the pressure is not as much, much on with them because of you know see it's still the peter obi effect mm, that is you know mm, mm. that people are just i mean like, there was a, a governorship candidate that moved to so, labor party in in delta state yes. what's his name um i forget his name now um I'll, I'll recall his name right i mean he's now the labor party candidate for gov normally that thing would not have it happened, won't happen yeah. yes. but he, the it reason he has the boldness to be able to move you know a dime in it is because you know, yes. of the Peter mm -hmm. Obi effect, you know. But let me bring in our guest, right? Mm -hmm. Dan Daniel Chibuzo Walker, popularly known as Dan the Humorous, is a stand-up comedian, an actor, and a pol 
political satirist. Now, he is also an on-air personality, an entertainment um, strategist, and an idea generator. He's also a friend of the house, and he's joined us live in studio. Thank you so much, Dan. Thank you, and uh, good evening, fine ladies. <laughs> oh, it's nice to be here. Yeah, so, so Dan, I mean, we've been talking, and I see you smiling and laughing. <laughs> but hey, me, I like the drama that's happening. You know, me, I, I'm here for the drama. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I like the idea that yeah. um, the political season for the 2023 general elections is not business as usual. Yep. Every political party now sees the need to want to be empathetic, to be more connecting with the people, because again, it's like, you know what? Please, oh, my, my re election is in is your hands, or, or my election is in your hands, and all of that. So we actually see. And we now see the human side of most of the political parties. Now, let me even bring it out, especially in Lagos, because now Lagos concerns me. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, um, prior to the elections, I, I remember that I, I was privy to a few governorship um, um, debates that were being organized. You know, and you know, it seemed like okay, power of incumbency and all mm -hmm. of that. You know, but hey, the governor has come out to give the to, to give his reasons why he did not appear in any of the. I don't know. Go and ask <laughs> me. But I'm saying to you that you know mm. it just seemed like okay, I have this in the bag. Yep. Mm. Until the February. In the <laughs> woke up and smelled. Yeah, February twenty fifth happened, and yeah. ah, I don't got it in the bag. So no more. now it's almost like every single day, so door to door. I mean, a friend of mine told me that the governor's wife was in her mm. estate knocking on yeah. each door. Even when we reached out to a few political um, people running re-elections, re House of mm. Assembly and all of mm. most of this, I can't come for any TV appearance right now. I'm going to door to door, I'm knocking mm. and all of that. So, I mean, we see that happening. And it just tells me, okay, now, okay, maybe truly we have a, um, what's it called, a, a race. We have an election. In the past, it's just been, okay, you know, pretend like you're there, but you're not there. Mm. But now there's somebody actually giving everybody a run for their money. And, I mean, we all can tell that it's the... Labour Party candidate. But let me hear your thoughts on the gubernatorial race, how you're viewing it and how, how, how things are, how you're stewing it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, you've made quite, I mean, you've really said um, a whole lot, you know, about the whole situation. Uh, for the first time in a very long time, particularly in a state like Lagos, you're seeing an actual competition mm -hmm. between not one party or two persons, but I mean, I see it as even a party of three persons because prior to February 25th, Jando had quite some momentum, yeah. you know, and he was all over in the news and all of that, <laughs> you know. But, and then we see the GRV effect. And of course, you know, Funshaw Doherty as well, even Hakeem Dixon of Accord, yeah. um, are also not people that you can push over yeah. necessarily. Yeah. But then when you look at those who have the local spread across the wards and the units and all of that, it probably boils down to three. Mm -hmm. uh, so it is beautiful. And this is because, in fact, the whole Peter will be business and everything is because uh, the reality of Nigeria situation has hit the middle class and it has hit the middle class real hard. Before now, you had the very rich and the very poor in their extreme conditions. And then you had the guys in the middle. So for example, when you have those who would make minimum wage, you have those who take maximum wage in billions and hundreds of millions. Then you have us who um, are in the medium wage. People who, yeah, maybe monthly pays between, say, 300,000 to a million, mm -hmm. which was seemingly comfortable mm -hmm. for them. All of a sudden, one million is not one million naira anymore. Hmm. And then we begin to ask questions, what's going on? Mm -hmm. And then you now have people like Peter Obi and co. now speaking to those pains, right? And that is basically what we've seen play out. And I would say that for the governor of Lagos, um, I think personally, I feel like his PR people are really doing him more damage mm. than good. Because see, you are even though you're going into an election, you are the governor. You mm. still uh, um, you occupy that, that number yeah. one office. Yeah. That office comes with a lot of prestige. It comes with a lot of, you know, statesmanship. It comes with a lot of, uh, um, how will I even say, like, you know, it's a big office. I beg to disagree. So, no, I'm coming. I'm coming. So, you don't do something that is out of your element. Hmm. You don't do something that you normally do. If before now, in the last three, four years, he used to come to every church, he used to be at the malls, he used to do this and that, who can say, but we know that you've not been around. Let's even say you were busy with the presidential. It's not in your character that we know for you to appear in the malls holding ice cream. 
It's not in your character that the few church programs, I mean, they just did City of David uh, building some weeks ago where he attended. He was there as a guest of honor with the vice president and daddy Jew. You didn't see him at the, at the back of church telling members bye-bye. You didn't see him in um, Ebuka's church dancing. <laughs> you haven't seen him in um, Computer Village before or all those places. Mm -hmm. So once you go, I felt that for a governor, you've had the opportunity to work for four years. All you needed to have done or all you need to do is remind the people the people are angry. Oh, yes. But remind them, remind those demographics that, look, I've been here for four years. I did this. If you give me another chance, I'll make it better by doing this. Because, I mean, we are, um, how will I put it now? Two weeks, three weeks. In fact, a month to election, people have already made up their minds. So, so, okay. There is nothing you can do to sway. Let me, let me explain something. Does this show to you that um, it seems, because this is the allegation, mm. in the, it's not me that said it, but they come for me. Um, the allegation is that because there is no work, right? Maybe that's why this... Pre no. <laughs> There's no, no work. Yeah, yeah, because you said, you said something now. Yeah. You're the sitting governor. All you need to do is remind the people of the work you've done over the years. Mm. What if there was no work ah, that was then? done? All right, thanks for staying with us now. If you just tuned in, we're discussing the gubernatorial race, right? And we have with us Dan the Humorous. Now, please, let's hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation. Send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 81 803 You can also tweet at us at Wayshow Africa one with the hashtag Wayshow. Now, the reason I asked that question or wh why I posed that to you, mm. you know, because, again, like you rightly said, I think the media team, for most of these people in government, not even just only Governor Sonwulu, I don't think they do a fantastic job because, again, there are laudable projects that have been done, but it seems like nobody really, really pays attention. Again, what, so there is, it's actually a multi... Uh, it's a, it's a hydra-headed problem. Mm -hmm. You know why? So you can do this fantastic grand project if it is not hitting okay. the people that exactly. need it, like if they are not feeling it. Because I remember clearly that when Governor um, Fashola, you remember after his first term, yep. when something wanted to happen, mm -hmm. that they now told him, oh boy, <laughs> arrange yourself. Because if you don't <laughs> arrange yourself, Arrangement if this man you. decides to go to a different political party, you it's are going to gone. lose the state. So they had to. Because why? The people were with Fashola. Yeah, absolutely. Because they felt his governance. They felt his work. True that. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? So is it, is it a problem of, him not working, or the people, or maybe he's doing the work that is not really impacting on the people. It, it, it's clearly, obviously, I think the way it's looking now, because, I mean, we follow the news every day. We see him do one thing or the other. We see him go to one place or the other. But with all that is happening now, it feels like were we building castles in the air? Were we just doing things that were not really meeting the needs directly of the common man, as we, as we put it? Because, again, like, if I have the opportunity, I would tell them the people that are thinking for you are a total mm. PR disaster. Mm. You don't do this when it is not... You see, you don't go out of your element. The, the, for election circle, the first, say, one, two, maybe three months mm. at, the, at, the, at the start of the whistle is when you have the opportunity to, you know, sway opinions, move people to your side. When Trump said it, people thought he was joking. He said, look, I can shoot somebody now, you still vote for me. Because at that time, people's minds have been made. And it doesn't matter what you do, good or bad. Some of them, if you even bring out your favorite candidates today, and you, you hear the worst story about them, you the next thing them. you hear is, even do, even, even do. do. <laughs> uh, yeah, is it the first? Is mm, it the first? Mm. Now, just small drink, you drink, leave mm. them. You understand? You know, keep person. You, you know, keep person. Mm -hmm. You know, even if you keep person, they will say, what did that person you do? do. Mm -hmm. Where you kill him? Mm -hmm. But the thing is, so, so I would advise the governor, free of charge, sir, take free PR. Remind the people of your works. You've had your, because every, that's the power of incubancy they talk about. People think the power of incubancy is that you have state structure, you have police, mm -hmm. you have this. No, you have other people are coming with, I want to, I want to. You yeah. have I gone. will, I will. You are coming with, I have, I have. So that alone mm. is an advantage. So when you are not looking into that and you are doing all kinds of things, then we have a problem in our hands. Okay, so I have a school of thought, and it is that, um, like you said, that um, there, there's, this is something he doesn't do, like it's out of his elements. Yep. But again, I mean, religion is a powerful weapon in politics yeah. in Nigeria. Yeah. You can't discard that. 
and it is a popular thing, whether right or wrong, that um, these people who are seeking for office, whether you know as an incumbent or a new person, would go to these religious houses. They literally beg to be endorsed by the religious you know, yeah. leaders. Yeah. It, is, it is almost like a given because that is Nigeria. That plays a powerful role in how people decide who to vote for, you know, and in choosing their candidates. So maybe he's towing that line and also, again, reminding people that, hey, I'm a Christian. It's a weapon. Yeah, but you I'm have to, to use it. You have to tow a line that is natural with you. Well, I think it's because natural what happens? No, you I know mean, why I say so. To Dan. shake people for door. No, Dan. No, it wait, is wait. the shaking of the door. It's not <laughs> the attending of the church. <laughs> like for example, let me even go back to Peter Obi. Mm. So years before now, mm. the Catholic people on the island here do unusual praise. Mm. Peter Obi is a regular steady. attendee. Yes, steady. A couple of times he has been at the experience. Mm. So, and the, of course, at the electionary season, you see him in a lot more. Mm. But you already know that he, he, he comes come. around mm. this spot, right? Mm. So, when you do, of course, I mean, he, um, um, his excellence of only is an MFM, mm. you know, man. He goes to one oh, or two. Oh, I thought he was with him. Yeah. No, I, I hear his MFM. Okay. You know, okay, let's anyone. <laughs> his church is, okay, for example, let's say Professor Shibajo, right? Mm. Professor Shibajo, active pastor mm. in RCCG. So when he was made um, running mate, you didn't have to talk too much mm. about, oh, he's a pastor or he's not, because people know, even my younger sister, you know, told me, ah, this man has even given me communion before at Holy Ghost, um, mm. this thing. You get everybody can relate. relate. So mm -hmm. when they know that, for example, you know that every December, maybe for someone like me, every December, I'm in one carnival or the other. I'm in one, you know, Anambra. I'm just having a good time. And then because I'm not in election, you see me in Shiloh. <laughs> when the last time, personally, Dan speaking to you, the last time I, I went to Shiloh is in 2001. Mm. So I will not now. I will see. You see that my carnival base. Hmm. That I've been with hmm. all year, I will galvanize no, the we, best. We just of consider it. you as an embattled yeah. member. That's <laughs> no, no, what I can now do is I will have my surrogates hmm. who Those vibe people. within that circle hmm. that they respect their opinions and everything to speak for me. Hmm. Yeah. But when you go, I don't, when last you see him for church, hmm. and the same thing to the guy who goes to church, when you now see him hmm. in carnival this day. I think, mm, you, know, like, so I, you know why I say that I beg mm. to differ? Sorry, Chinele, I know you want to come in. I think it is in Governor Sanwolu's, because I've, I've studied him quite a bit, mm. just a little bit, mm. right? When the NSARS thing happened, you, mm. could, you could tell, I think it's his response. That is his natural response to maybe anxiety. He's anxious, right? There's a lot going on. Mm. People, somebody's putting him on his toes, right? <laughs> so I think it is his natural response to, 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 to anxiety. Be yes, because again... Remember when the NSAS thing happened? He was like that. He was, you know, trying. So I, I think he's just. He's a good man. He's a good man. Yeah. He just. He the just, management. They are not managing him. Yeah. Very no, but, well. but, but hey, hey, trust me, right? Whether we like it or not, mm. that strategy is going to work. Mm. Because now, people that have not probably seen his wife yeah. or seen him in a while, and you know, I mean, there's but just that thing that I, he If does. I tell you that it will not work, will you believe? I, well, I don't know about you. <laughs> <laughs> Those who have made up their minds have made up their minds. That's true. Because the estate he went to be knocking door mm. is where they were living mm. before going to government house. Yes. So again, you ask yourself, so I will go back to Shibajo. I was told that where he, he lives or was living before becoming VP, he, he still attends estate meetings yeah. Wow. as VP. Mm. Yeah. So if he was at the top of a ticket today mm. and he's talking to his neighbors, they will they so him. that door we are going to okay, knock in never the estate. Those. We will not go and ask. Mm -hmm. Since they went to uh, Marina House, I mean, what is it called? Have they been... Yeah. connecting with estate people. Mm. If not, estate people will open your door, shake your hand, and tell you bye-bye. Okay. When you lock and they do, mm. you, you understand? People so I, will, I, I get that. Yeah, so you I come to it. church, people will clap for you. People will take selfie with you. Have you, have you ever been near a governor before? They will take mm. selfie with you. They will, they will not insult you. Mm -hmm. I mean, a governor, a governor is here. We are happy, but yeah. voting-wise, when they no. are between them and that ballot paper, are you sure that... That whole communication will convert to them pressing your logo. Mm. Mm. I mean, that's what I was just going to say. So, you see, like you rightly said, he's always been that man that would go to visit. Even when he was campaigning for the governor in the first day, he was in the hairdressing salon, right? Yeah. We yeah. saw that pic. 
after the digo again. So, so that's the thing. <laughs> it now felt like there was a disconnect. Just use, mm. use me and dump so, me. So that's what it, that, I think. That's where people's grievances well, are actually It's not only from. unique to some Oluna. Yeah, yeah. I mean, all, all of them. them. All of them. I love them. All of them. <laughs> but you see, the problem is that people eating bole. you were quiet. <laughs> you were quiet for so long, and then just one week before now, that's what people are saying. Not even you December. are now waking up and <laughs> not even last you are going year. back to back, and then you are giving us good evening, people of Lagos. Good morning, dear Lagosians. Good, year, good afternoon. So everybody's like, why? Why did he have to take it this long? It means that you were just extremely comfortable that this thing is mine. It's going to come back to me. But guy, it doesn't work like that, right? That's the way you have to. Okay, get but you, okay, I mean, you're, you're, you're all you're all ladies, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure you've had you know masculine relationships at one point or the other, even mm -hmm. presently. Haven't there been sometimes that your man does something is just too good? And you're like, Wait, what do you want? Hold what on. What, what have you done? What, do you want? what are you about to confess? Is, what do you want? Uh -huh. Sometimes, what sometimes he has done something bad. <laughs> Before you go hear the story, <laughs> take this, take that, take this. Like, okay, fine. I'm okay. I'm forgiving you in advance. What, what, what did what? you do? <laughs> because this is just too <laughs> much <laughs> right now. You yeah. know. So, I mean, yeah. that's why. If, for example, you see somebody like Wiki now, Wiki is always dancing. Wiki is always singing Yendeba, Yendeba. So if he starts doing it in campaigns, mm. it's it natural not seem to like him. Well, we so yeah. let's move to River State because yeah. Wiki calls conferences like pure water. I don't understand. <laughs> Any smart thing, he has called the press. When you have good resources. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us, tell us what is happening in River State, honestly. Okay, so, because so, so, I mean, in Delta, he, what's his name? Um, 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 Bella. Uh, Omar Gege. Omar Gege is yes. the one that has moved to, to Labour Party. No, know? no, no, Omar Gege is of the APC. You have Kempela. Who is, who is, uh, who is in Labour? Kempela is in Labour. Okay. Then the perpetual contestant, um, Great Oboru, mm. is in Abga. Mm. And then people are saying, oh, and you were in Labour at that time. Why did you, Why just, did you stay? just stay? So it's not just in Lagos. Mm. We are going to see competition in Everywhere. some states Everywhere. where you have traditional yeah. mm -hmm. um, voting. Aquaibom, yeah. I can't even imagine what will happen. I have my eyes on Aquaibom. The APC is strong, uh -huh. the PDP is strong, the Labour, they are pushing, the YPP, mm -hmm. that YPP man is one not to be messed with. You know, it's going to be, in River State, it's also going to be very, so River State now, this is it. We had Wiki, first of all, Wiki rode into power based on, oh, Amechi did this mm -hmm. and that, he mm -hmm. became governor, and then he, again, PR management, excellent job, they were able to, you know, magnify, make little things very big. And then they said, okay, they are going to have the, his candidate, relatively unknown man, civil servant all his life. And then February 25th happened. People saw their, their will subverted right in front of their eyes. I mean, you heard it, Peter, be on a, another TV station this morning saying, the governor worked against me. What that caused is that the obedience in River State now got angry. And his revenge vote. And his revenge vote. In fact, yeah. some people are saying, since you say PC, want to obey you to the end. Mm. So this morning on social media, when Peter Obi's uh, video was posted, when he said, I caught 57, 50 something percent, some people were commenting, oh, God, why are you rigging your own election with mm. your mouth? You got 99 yeah. percent. You know? So you see a lot of revenge voting. Now, the issue now is they are placed within APC Tony Cole. Uh, Beatrice Itubo of Labour, you have Dumo, strong guy from a great family as well, of Accord, you have um, Senator Magnus Abe of the SDP, and these are the major people mm -hmm. against the PDP, same, mm -hmm. that they do not know, they have not heard mm -hmm. a candidate running for governor that has not gone for one radio interview, mm -hmm. not one, not even this. Because again, he believes. That, Coming but it's way. not done that way. Other mm. states, you, you, the organ, yes, the outgoing governors are practically installing them, but mm. you're seeing them coming yeah. out. Mm -hmm. But you see the PDP campaign in River State, the governor still has the last say. Mm. When you watch the news coverage, they mention the candidate in person and put the headline or the caption on what the governor said or didn't say mm. on that particular rally. Mm. So you have that. So between the two, but now they are now looking, okay, the whole labor vibe and all of that. But then again, that's another civil servant, former NLC chairman. Mm -hmm. So you bought, so all of them, Tony Ko stands out based yeah, on his global does. exposure. And, yeah. and his yeah. pedigree. Yeah, exactly. His, pedigree. Yeah. his global exposure, yeah. his national And he acclaim. also has those celebrities in Portaco yeah. yeah. trying yeah. to work yeah. for yeah. him. Yeah. And yeah. To, to his credit, he is the only candidate amongst all of them that has gone around the 319 words. 
Whoa. Not 23 local government, though. 319 wow. words. Wow. Talking with the market people and everything. He has, you would so think he's that, done the work. Yeah, you would But do you that. think that the, the APC, um, whatever, no, the APC would be uh, his undoing. So, for instance, now, what yeah. happened with Banky W yeah. and then, yes. Now, and then, now, yes. now, now that is another dicey thing. Mm. So, a lot of people are saying, ah, this guy is fantastic, but wrong party. And we are saying to them that I don't understand. I thought we were, yeah, we were yeah, I think we were being just say, yeah. because are you telling me that you would you, you would have if all the things you heard from Peter will be, mm. let's say he moved to the APC mm. last minute, contested primaries and won Bola Tinuba and everything, you would say ah this nice guy that doesn't wear shoe and doesn't wear watch but is in APC. No, you believe because if you know the amount, are you not seeing all the corruption cases we are seeing in Labour Party? Mm. Mm. Are you not seeing, did you not hear that the Labour Party, River State Chairman, after all the drama I did at the Collegial Center, woke up one morning and said they are supporting the PDP mm -hmm. and all of that. So some of them have been candidates mm -hmm. before Cross Peter came. Yeah, true. You know, so how are you sure that they will even keep up to the ideals of Peter? So I tell them that, why are we doing ourselves this thing? You know, you're seeing something that is good or not good in your eye, mm -hmm. and you want to just do the other one. Just they, because they, they, they you say bite the nose yeah, to spite the cause, face yes. or something yeah. like that. Mm. You know, that's because political parties in Nigeria are basically vehicles. Yeah. Mm. Nothing but vehicles. Yeah. It's not like Republicans that you say this one believe yeah. in yeah. abortion. Yeah. This one no, believe yeah. in this, yeah. our political that. parties don't have ideologies. Yeah, ideology. Exactly. Yeah. Anywhere that is more, more um, that I, I stand the yeah. chance to yeah. win yeah. is yeah. where so I go So I tell them that if you have somebody that you know that he will do the work, Please, by all means, do it. Mm -hmm. I'm do just you, hoping that the APC, um, what's it called, the the revenge against the APC will not affect... Um, no, the know, revenge is against the PDP in River State. No, no, no. Eh, well, uh, there's a global revenge against the APC. Yeah, no, so, <laughs> but in, in locally... In River State, in locally, yeah, so, so, it is so against, it's, yeah. against, it's against Wiki. Yeah, so the, the thinking is this, and it's funny because so in 2015, so we, it's like we see history repeating itself. Mm. Three things I'll say real quick. So in 2015... Um, Governor Meiji moved to the APC. He was expelled out of PDP. He moved to the APC. He was DG and everything. The understanding in town or in the whole state was, oh, we will vote our brother. Mm -hmm. Good luck. But this governorship, Ikori man cannot take over from Ikori man. Mm. So we will vote for Peter's side. Mm. And then Buhari won election. And the narrative changed. You know, the political propaganda system, as you will say, within PDP Wiki, oh, it is our brother Meiji that led the charge hmm. to dislodge good luck. Our brother destroyed our brother. Hmm. So the revenge voting Happened, came. yes. Say, oh, since you led the charge to dislodge our brother, this we, your we brother too, you too. will dislodge him. Hmm. Let Ikure take over from Ikure, nothing will happen. Hmm. Here we are. Today, we see a man, people, there was an understanding in town, hmm. again, that, ah, we are all obedient. I mean, my unit, uh, PDP, APC, party agents put in their tag inside their they were hiding it and came to vote Political when they are party. counting the vote in my unit labor labor when they bring out pdp the same pdp will shall will be that now <laughs> will be that you get and so there was an understanding in town that ah presidency obedient labor. way in mm. fact in my unit they'll tell you all of us were obedient today in two weeks our quarter will start mm. so the understanding was okay then we will reward Wiki with whoever he wants to put As there. As PDP yeah. candidate. Then the next what thing, now? they now started to see mm. America wonder. Mm. APC is winning presidency, but PDP is winning National Assembly. Mm. You know, the witch cried at night, the baby is dying in the morning. Mm. So <laughs> now we are back again to, that to revenge, revenge voting. voting. Wow. And one thing I've observed in Rivers' history, since 1999, Governor Odili, Governor Michi, at their exit, the people they wanted to make governors never made it mm. as governor. So will history repeat itself because or I, will history be changed? Yeah. We'll find out. Incumbents don't always have the whatever. They power. try. They try, but, but in, something, yes, some, something just something happens. Something works against the yeah. tide. Mm. So this is what we are seeing because I, I, all of a sudden, we are talking about Sanwolu. Mm. Wiki was not going to Igbo people, was went to the market. We are sorry. We are sorry. Yes. Everything. He kept on they, apologizing. They, they saw him walking on the road waving taxi. And the social media is crazy. Mm -hmm. like, oh, what happened to Imoto? Imoto <laughs> <laughs> and all of that. So we see him also doing exact yeah. same thing yeah. happening. Some kind of, you yeah. understand. So I mean this weekend is gonna be interesting. It's gonna I have be my eyes on Delta, uh, Lagos, mm. oh and Ogun.
Hmm. Is another yeah. interesting place. Yeah. Do you yeah. think? I think that we're building. Would own it again. Yeah. Hmm. Well, we're, we're based on incubancy, mm -hmm. and I mean, if from but word on the street everywhere. is that the people are also frustrated yeah. in Ogun State. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. In fact, not even if you go too far, even just around the fringes of Lagos, mm -hmm. too, you see. The border town. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. So now the ADC, funny enough, by headed or the. The candidate being supported by Senator Mosu, mm. who is fully APC, mm. but coming on ADC campaign and like you know, politicians are just doing anything they like these yeah. days. The PDP ah, seems quiet, but I think the ADC is a strong and candidate. the APC there's going to be serious contention. Mm. Or your two mm. is another. Interesting well, I think Shane Makinde is taking that. Yeah, but well, the APC. I, I think is, so. The, the, so now something happened or something is happening again. When people talk about, oh, this party will support this party for presidency and this, and I remind them that in 2015, there were a lot more PDP states, PDP government yeah. states. APC had probably only Nasarawa and Yobi. Very so, few states, like, but now it has, it has Immediately, lop lopsided. And we heard from uh, Governor Aliyu, um, or Senate, I don't know, did he make Senate again? Aliyu Babangida, that day, Northerners, supported Buhari, mm. even though they were in PDP. Mm. What happened is that immediately Buhari won almost all those states. They yeah. moved to APC. Moved to APC. Yeah. Mm. All those PDP people lost their relevance. Yeah. So again, we saw where people like Makinde, you know, doing the whole thing, G5 and, and all he of stood. that. He was a loner. And, <laughs> and he did the well. G broke. Mm. So now, are we now going to... Because these politicians, they're funny. They could be preaching there that, look, top is APC. Hmm. We don't need any rainbow coloration mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. Let's just color the broom mm -hmm. all the way. You mm -hmm. never can tell. Never. So, mm -hmm. yes, in fact, some people are of the opinion that coming back to Governor Sowulu, that uh, since he was following Ashwaju up and down, okay. doing presidential, that when Ashwaju finished election, she was like, come, Jide, sure. don't you have election in two weeks? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, go for your election, <laughs> no, leave me. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but I think, leave our governor alone. <laughs> We are hoping we are hoping we'll get the chance. You should not just iron his jeans again. You see, this is the thing I'm telling you about. See, every little thing matters. Yes. Every little thing matters. Like who did that? I iron my jeans. Ha, with ghettos. Good evening, my dear beautiful sisters of what are you saying? Hashtag where is the gubernatorial race? <laughs> My dear brother and namesake, Daniel, made mention of an aspirant remembering people of the good works he has done for four years to be voted for again. But supposing he never did any good work, hmm. oh, oh. I hope this time people will be allowed to vote for the people of their choice and not imposing someone on the people. Democracy is supposed to be of the people, by the people and for the people, but the opposite is the case in Nigeria. So good to have my name taken in the studio. I happen to be his fan. My name is Daniel Ilowe's regular fan. Thank, mm. you, Thank you, Daniel. Daniel. Mm. <laughs> this comment, I wish we want to read it. <laughs> Let's not read that one. <laughs> But thank you so much, Dad. I think we had fun discussing oh, yeah. it. We'll like, yeah. we just show you the comment later. Yeah, we we'll are <laughs> So the thing is, right, I, I'm hoping that, you know, we're able to speak with um, Governor Sonwulu because it's, it's also pertinent that, you know, that you, um, you speak across because I have, they've also accused me that it's also Labour Party, Labour Party I'm yeah. interviewing. Mm -hmm. And I keep on saying that. Now, the person will answer us, yes. <laughs> now, we go put for for <laughs> sure. <laughs> but hey, I, I think listening to you is going to be a fun election. Yeah. And I think maybe that's why they needed that one more week, just to, yeah. just to, to go wet ground. Out. Because now this within this week, now we can yeah, begin to go market. Yeah. Exactly. So we'll do the go <laughs> computer <laughs> village. <laughs> But Mackinde, I've I'm not heard any. I've not heard any troubling news about Mackinde's um, re-election. You know, the only one I heard Nigeria. is more of Ogun State. You know, most of those parts of Nigeria don't. They yeah. don't really invest in media. Yeah, yeah. they don't do yeah. social media like, like Lagos. Yeah. That, That's yeah. what. That is the thing ah, that worries yeah. someone. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. <laughs> our, our Lagosians we are not smiling at, at all. all. <laughs> only little thing you do, they put you on social Twitter. media. No. And I, I want to say that I hope and I pray that I mean, as a people in wanting change. We have to be very. We can't be emotional. No, we can't. We yeah. can't. We be have emotional. to be strategic. We have to be strategic. Change, change has always and been strategic. And we have mode. to do it right. So Absolutely. we can't just say that. Oh, because this or yes, we all have our personal, you know, yeah. things. But please, let's, let's be strategic. Just, let's well, okay. It would be interesting to yeah. see a turn of history in most mm. states. Right. Mm. I'm looking forward to Saturday. To see a turn of history. I can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait. I can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait. Well, thank you so much, Dan. I mean, it's always fun talking politics. 
<laughs> you, you make it exciting for us. Thank you, ladies. Thank you, Chinelo, and thank you, Adiola. Now, before we go, do ensure you follow us across all our social media handles that we show Africa. You can drop a comment and, more importantly, follow all our engagements on social media, like, share, and invite your families and friends to watch and follow the conversation. Now, if you missed our quote for today, here it is again. Every citizen of this country should be guaranteed that their votes matters, that their vote is counted, and that in the um, voting booth, their vote has a much weight as that of any CEO, any member of Congress, or any president. I think this is what we are looking forward to for the gubernatorial election, because INEC, you once failed us. Let us not have that repeat of history again. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow at 8 p.m. So, ladies, night out as we bring another great conversation to your screen. Enjoy.